Hi everyone, this is Diane and I have a book recommendation for you. The title of the book is The Women of Winton's, a classy 1950s mystery and the writer is Donna Momo. I love this story. Let me begin with a sign and this is in Audrey's point of view. Reserved for Audrey Pinal, Winton's department store, violators will be towed. <laughs> oh, how this sign set the bees a buzzing in the wives and mothers' bonnets in Levy City. That and her shiny new 1955 Thunderbird convertible parked beneath it. Why should she have what their husbands, sons, or brothers deserved after fighting in the war? Audrey checked her hair in the rear view mirror and finger combed the wind blown tendrils. Florida's heat was the ruination of hairdos and makeup, at least driving with the top-down dried perspiration and shrank the pores. A few must curls were worth the ride. Part of her couldn't blame folks for not liking her. Sixteen-year-old girls in this town didn't run off to New York City alone, then return fourteen years later, sprinkling everyday conversations with French phrases locals wouldn't understand. And Audrey had money, far more than what people suspected Daddy left her when he died. But she wasn't the typical Levy city girl. A business degree hung on her wall at home, not wedding or baby photos. Her love for the inner workings at Winton's department store irritated Levy City's female population like sand grit in the eyes. Ah, c'est la vie. Mr. Winton considered her a vital part of the store and believed she deserved her own space. His opinion reigned above all others. She opened the car door with knees pressed together just as Miss Evelyn's charmed school had taught her. Audrey stood in one swift motion. Mother always said, long-legged, long-necked girls like her must be mindful to move gracefully and swan-like to avoid looking like a drunken spider. I loved the humor in Audrey's point of view. And the more I read about her, the more I loved the story and you will too. The author's name is Donna Muma, and this is titled The Women at Winton's, a classy 1950s mystery.